Okay, when we're working with binomials, we also have a property called the conjugate. Conjugates, you basically have the same two terms. So here we have a d and a 10. And the only thing that's different is the uh, plus and the minus. So you just have two different signs um, between your two terms. So the special thing about um, conjugates is that when you multiply, just as you would multiply any binomial, any two binomials, the middle two terms go away. So let's just take a look. We have, um, so in this case, if I take my first two terms, I'm going to have d times d, which gives me a d squared. And then I have my second, I have a d times a negative 10, that gives me a minus 10d. Now if I take the second term of the first binomial, I have a 10 times a d, they're both positive, so I have a plus 10d. And then my last is a 10 times a negative 10, which gives me negative 100. Right? So now if I look at my two middle terms, a negative 10d plus a 10d, they both go away, right? One's plus, one's minus, and I'm left with d squared minus 100. And that's my, uh, that's my, my simplified answer. So instead of actually going through the entire process, if you notice that you have a conjugate, right, you have two binomials that are conjugates of each other, you can simply take, so let's go back and we'll say we have d plus 10 times d minus 10. We don't even have to do the middle multiplications anymore. We can simply take the d times the d and we get a d squared. And then we take the 10 times the negative 10, which will give us uh, a negative 100. And we can go straight to that. And you'll learn later on as we factor, um, this is a good uh, pattern to recognize. So let's just do another one. So in our next example, we have 3c minus 4 and a 3c plus 4. Again, you notice the difference. The, only th the terms are the same. We have 3c's in both of them. And then we have a 4 in both of them. So the only difference is the sign that's between them. So these are our conjugates, in which case we can go straight and we can say, well, that's just the same as 3c, and we square the first one, minus 4, and we square the second term. So we're going to get 9c squared minus 16. And that's our answer. Again, we could have gone the long way, and we could have done, we could have multiplied everything out. We have 3c minus 4 times 3c plus 4. And we take each. We have 3c times 3c, and then we have a 3c times a 4, and then we have a minus 4 times 3c, and we have a minus 4 times a 4. Whoops, I meant minus. So if I simplify these, I get 9c squared plus 12c minus, right, minus a 12c minus 16. So these two went away, and I simply have 9c squared minus 16. So I could have done it the long way, or again, if you recognize that these are conjugates of, of each other, you just take the first term, square it, and then you subtract the second term, square, the square of the second term.